this is the second battle between the Prussian Prince and Dark Admiral. Dark Admiral won the first one. In this battle, the Prussian Prince is commanding the Empire. He has a mix of Outriders with grenade launchers and standard Outriders up front. He has four Empire Knights. He has a steam tank on the hill. A Light Wizard, um, General of the Empire on a Griffin. And that's it. The Greenskins, two Goblin Wolf Rider Archers. Four Black Orcs, four Savage Orcs. There is a maximum of f uh, 12 melee infantry for the Greenskins in this in this tournament. Giant. Two Giants. And uh, the Prussian Prince being very aggressive towards the Wolf Riders here early on. Uh, the Light Wizard was hit by Gaze of Gork, Mork, Vindictive Glare. Hit by Vindictive Glare, uh, there's a Night Goblin Shaman here, hitting the Black Orcs in the back actually, because of the angle. Night Goblin Shaman, and uh, this is Asag on foot. So he could potentially Spirit Leech the General over here, I guess. If you have the mana for it. And this is a... If I was to, like... Guess what, uh, or or have an opinion of what the, the Prussian Prince, an uh, archetypical Prussian Prince army would be. It would be all skirmishers and cavalry, like this army. Uh, this army will allow him to refuse engagement for as long as possible, while dealing damage to key enemy units with outriders and outriders with grenade launchers. And of course, the steam tank, very well placed here, able to snipe giants. And the steam tank is very accurate against giants. It staggers the giant, and it can also knock the giant down. So although you don't have a full battery of cannons, the steam tank is more than enough to finish off a giant. And Dark Admiral is chasing the Prussian Prince all over the map. But the Prussian Prince refuses engagement. Just wants to deal with the giants. And that is a good idea, because engaging cavalry when there's a giant in the blob is a death sentence for the cavalry. So this battle is a bit of a different different one than, than what we've seen from Empire versus Greenskins before. We saw a touch of this. Panda did something like this against the Prussian Prince, but uh, it wasn't the exact same setup. Panda actually had infantry in that battle. It was just that he had a lot of Outriders. And the Outriders do require a good micro to use because and they do not have Parthian shots, so you have to stop, you have to fire, you have to pull away in time, you have to manage your fatigue. It's it's definitely not easy to use them. And the giant is taking damage from both magic, from artillery and from these outriders. The Prussian prince knows that Killing, killing giants, killing orcs is nice, but killing giants is what's going to win him the battle. And now it looks like, ooh, nice hit there against uh, Asai. And now it looks like uh, Dark Admiral sees that he he needs, to, he's being picked apart. He can't catch the Prussian Prince, so he's going to move towards the forest. But this is. Um, at this point, the Prussian Prince has a lot of ammunition left, both on his steam tank, on his outriders. So if Dark Admiral stays in the forest, he'll die in the forest. No question about it. This will allow the Prussian Prince to surround, surround Admiral very effectively and do this. Send in the Empire Knights against routing troops, try to shatter them. Savage Orcs take fire as they're running in there. The Giants have lost a lot of hit points. <laughs> Good luck hiding in between the trees when you're this big. Sort of like it's just standing in a normal bush. Simultaneous front and rear charge. Should break the Savage Orcs quickly. 
Um, indeed it does. The Empire Knights take a bit of friendly fire here. It's not that bad for them because they do have 100 armor. Over here as well, the Savage Orcs getting picked apart. The Light Wizard is about to break. Wavering due to damage sustained. Empire Knights go in and out. But Asag is... Uh, Asag is going down here. Getting sniped by the Outriders. And the Outriders do damage reliably, but they need... They need a significant amount of time to do the damage. So, in a game where a player is playing for the long haul, like the Prussian Prince is doing here, uh, Outriders can have their place, but it does require patience. You won't see models dropping really quickly, uh, and you need to be extremely careful. You can see now the Outriders are exhausted, and they have little ammunition remaining. But you can see that they're doing damage very reliably to the Giant here. We have a few small, few small engagements, the Empire Knights chasing off the Wolf Riders. Um, here Asag is running away from the battle, about to be ridden down by the Empire Knights. So hit to the Greenskin Morale incoming. And he should be gone. No one has decided to poke him yet with their lance. <laughs> this is quite funny, actually. Yeah, he's going to die at some point. That's certain. And the Prussian Prince still has ammunition remaining. The orcs are getting shot to pieces all across the battlefield. Asag still isn't dead. There he's dead, okay. Or is he? Was he just knocked down? Yeah, he was just knocked down. Holy shit. This there we go, finally. Finally. So the morale of the Greenskins is going to take a hit. And uh, meanwhile, they're taking real hits from artillery, grenade launchers, outriders. And the Empire cavalry is mostly undamaged. So the Griffin is going to be able to swoop down together with the cavalry and finish off any straggling orc units. Now even the mighty black orcs are wavering. Very smart army by the Prussian Prince. You know the Greenskins are good at melee, so deny the Greenskins the ability to go and fight in melee. And the green, uh, the uh, Prussian Prince, I believe, has also moved his uh, steam tank a bit. So the giants aren't able to gang up on it. At this point, there is there is nothing Dark Admiral can do. He's gotten himself surrounded. His general is gone. The uh, Night Goblin Shaman is still alive. The giants are basically gone. And all of the remaining Black Orc units have taken damage. But now the steam tank is about to run out of ammunition. Still, if the Prussian Prince just kills everything but the Giants in this case, then uh, it's going to be very easy to break what's left here. Foe Seeker, Deadly Onslaught. Blood roar to break the leadership of these units quickly. Get in a rear charge here with the Outriders. The Black Orcs turn around though, they see the charge coming. But still, this will tank hit points for the other uh, Empire Knights here. And looks like this is going to be the last engagement. The Prussian Prince only has four Knights. You can see how quickly the Outriders broke there. The steam tank is steaming forward. Now it's running, and even though it's out of ammunition on its main gun, the uh, seems like the steam cannon is still working. 
I'm getting the terror causing steam tank in here. Uh, could be exceptionally useful against the black orcs. And if the black orcs run away, I don't think the giants are going to stay. And also, of course, the giants are going to target the target the steam tank instead of the cavalry. Here comes the griffin again. The black orcs decide they've had it. Last epic charge of the Empire Cavalry into the Giants, into the Black Orcs. And the Giants looks like they're going to break before they die. Yep. Wavering breaking due to army losses. Good one. My hat off to the Prussian Prince for uh, that Empire army and strategy. Very smart one. And... Mostly about just grinding down unit with outriders, grenade launcher, outriders, steam tank, and then finishing them off with cavalry. But it, it might seem like an easy, an easy, uh, easy strategy, but but it's not easy to pull off in terms of micro and in terms of timing. So, good game, strength and honor.